Hi Aquarius, welcome to your May 2017 reading. I am with you here, Sarah. And you know, Aquarius, it's time for us to have a little chat. It's time to have a little chat about where you are. You know, last month we were talking about burnout. We were talking about your cycle of how you push yourself and you do everything alone and you want to be out there independent doing your thing and you burn out and you have an epiphany. This month, we talk about how you're set in your ways. You know, you're, you're set on your course. And some of you resent anybody who comes in and challenges you to do it differently. And I think you might find in May that you will be having a lot of those questions about yourself. A lot of those questions about what it really looks like to challenge yourself outside of your box. I know you guys are free thinkers and you're very independent and you like to think outside of the box, but sometimes you are a fixed sign, right? And sometimes you guys get stuck in what you've known. Sometimes you guys get stuck in what you think is right for you and for others. Sometimes you get stuck in a routine of your independence and you think you know everything. And honestly, May is going to be a big teacher for you. It is going to ask you to learn new skills. And where do you learn new skills? You learn new skills in outside of your comfort zone, in the trial by fire, in the frying pan. And I dropped a card. And it is the star. I'll give you that. And that is going to be the energy coming at you, Aquarius. I know you think you know best. And I'm not trying to pick on you too much. I, I've recently just been through a bit of this last month, in fact, and Aquarius played a big role in my life. And, you know, we had a lot of conversations about what that looks like, what that feels like. And honestly, I feel like this May is going to be one of those months where you have to really reassess what your priorities and what are and why they're there. You know, are you filling up your schedule with a whole bunch of things? Are you filling up your schedule with a whole bunch of routines and and thing and and rituals that allow you to avoid your heart center? Are you getting so focused on this grounded day-to-day -day routine that you have so that you can maintain control over your life to the point where you have shut down your heart center. Because Aquarius, I think some of you have done that. You know, you're very smart, you're very intellectual, you're very sharp and witty and able to handle a lot of different things coming at you at once. It's one of your strong suits is being able to handle all the energy coming right at you, right in your face. But if you constantly keep your heart center in the background, it's going to catch up with you eventually. And it is going to ask of you some big shift. And I'm telling you right now that the next couple of months are going to be a time of major, major heart work whether you want it or not that is the skill that you are being asked to expand upon you have to find a little bit more balance in your your life because why did you burn out in april why did you have to burn out and go through an epiphany like that in order to to figure out that you needed balance it's because you were out of balance. It's because you were in an extreme, on an extreme end of the scale. And when that happens, guess what? You get burnt out and you have to start over. You know, I think a lot of you, you're trying to keep yourself here. You know, you are trying to do, you're trying to do all this 
and all this, all this earth energy right here, this is daily routine. And we have the hermit too. This is daily routine. This is doing things and filling up your schedule so that you keep these wounds at bay. What are these Aquarius? Like I'm getting real here, you know, I'm bringing out my Leo fire and I'm going to be the opposite of you and it's going to make you really uncomfortable, but you can handle it. That's what I like about you guys. What is this? What is this hurt that keeps surfacing and you almost go in there and figure out what it is and do the work to get through it and you stop yourself and you stop yourself and you say nope not ready I'm gonna stop right now I'm just gonna keep doing things methodically I'm just gonna keep being busy I'm gonna keep having my shit together because I don't want to know I don't want to know if I am just really locked in to what I know in my lifestyle and what I care about, then I don't have to actually look at what is hurting so bad. And I think a lot of you are really tempted to push people away this month. You might be tempted to initially, especially, I think there's a weight going on here with you at the beginning of the month. And it all has to do with that burnout you had in April and the realizations you came to in that process. And here's the thing. Here's the thing that I that I love about this reading, you guys. So you, okay, first of all, all right, I'm giving you a hard time about your daily routines, but monetarily, you're going to be doing well. You're going to be finishing projects. You're going to be getting things done. You're going to be on point with that. So that's great. That's one upside to ignoring your heart center. You can get a lot done. But there is going to be a moment of truth where you have to really address this. You have to. And if you don't do it, this is going to continually come up for you in different scenarios and different people for the rest of your life. Whether this is something to do with your parents or an old heartbreak or something that you feel about yourself, because Aquarius, I know how hard you are on yourselves. As hard as you are on everybody else, you are much harder on yourself. And this is lurking there. And it's been trying to poke its head out for the last couple of months. And in May, you are going to be invited to really take a look at that. And if you do, if you do, if you can take that risk and dive in there and really, really look at what it is that you need to clarify, you are going to be free. Ha Aquarius, Here's a question for you. Have you been feeling like over the last year that you have just been running, 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 like you were on a hamster wheel and it feels like you're going upstream. It feels like, yes, you're doing the right things you want to do, but yet it feels like this challenge and that it's constantly mocking you and making you feel that you can't break past that barrier. Have you been feeling that for the last year? You know what that is? It's this. It's this. It's this heartache here. And there is just this ability for you to move forward. And what happens when you allow for your heart center to speak to you? Your hopes and dreams start coming true. And, and this is in every aspect of your life, even things that you really enjoy and doesn't feel like a burden and you want to be doing it. This is about it moving smoothly again. This is about it expanding again. The chariot. This is about you moving into new pastures. This is about you finishing projects and leaving behind old routines. This is about you. So like I was saying, you know, because you have such strong pentacles energy at the beginning of the month, you're getting your projects done. You're doing it. You're doing the work. That burnout kind of faded away. You're able to get refocused and get it done. You're finishing that up. Now, if you can get into your heart center and connect with that, you're going to be flying forward. You are going to be finding balance. And here's where you really want to be. This is Aquarius. This is the invitation right here. This is where you want to be. You need the balance. You need the mixture of your high intellectual, highly energetic, 
mental state with your heart center. You need that balance. Or you will continually feel that you are swinging upstream and fighting against the current and, and dragging your boat up over rapids that are pulling you. And that is how you will continue to feel. And like I said, this is harsh medicine uh, for May. And I'm so sorry, Aquarius, if, if this is <laughs> too harsh for you. I just want you guys to know that you are allowed to have feelings, that you are allowed to let people in, that you are allowed to be analytical and smart and on top of it and have your life and your independence and still have a heart center because you know that you do. And I think like for me, like I said, this has been coming up in my personal life, seeing somebody deny that part of themselves when it's so clear that they need some time with it is heartbreaking for me. And, you know, call me a crazy Leo. That's all about the heart chakra and all about the, the, the organ of fire. But you guys have that in spades. And I do feel like sometimes you push it away from yourself and you push yourself away from others in, in the name of a higher ideal. But in the end, you make yourself tired and you make yourself burnt out and you get here every time. And I don't want you to keep repeating that cycle. And for some of you, I don't know that you've repeated that. For some of you, I think you've just had some really big upsets over the last year. And this spring has been about trying to get your balance back on. And it's been a little bit of a struggle to get here. Um, but you're working your way there. You are working your way there. And that's what I want to say about May. It's going to be some tough medicine. You're going to be having these revelations here, this judgment card here, speaking to the fact that you are going to be feeling like you are having aha moments and things are going to be making sense. And you might be talking to people. You might be making some communication that you need to make, that you need to set right. You're going to be healing old wounds. And by the end you will have righted your course a little bit and you won't feel like you are pushing against the current like you you have been feeling for a little while and you know here at the bottom of the deck four of wands this is emotional fulfillment this is coming full circle and coming home to your heart center this is building something that's going to last instead of feeling like you get into something and it crumbles instead of feeling like you're going around in a circle, an endless circle that keeps repeating and repeating and repeating. There is an invitation here. Like I said, balance, a new future. Oh, I dropped it. I'm sorry, you guys. A new future, a new, all your hopes and dreams. They're waiting to meet you at the finish line. They are. But you have to be willing to let them in. My lovely Aquarians, you know, I love you when you guys are at your best and when you are feeling that you deserve love because we laugh together and we have fun together and we do crazy things together and it is so much fun. But if you shut yourself off, you won't be there for the party. And I see this war inside of yourself. I just see it. I see, and it's weird. I wouldn't normally say this is a war, but you are not an earth sign. You are not an earth sign. So what is going on here with the busy schedule and the, and the, the numbing out? What is going on with that? Here, here you are. This is what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be communicating and communing. You're supposed to be an element of truth. You know, here you are. Here you are. This is where we want you to be. So if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling cranky, if you're feeling still some of the, the fallout from that burnout before, pay attention to it. I don't see you burning out this month. I see you putting pieces together and I see you getting very real with yourself. And I see you being very brave, Aquarius in your healing process. I also see you finishing things. This is the end of the semester for a lot of people. I see school ending. I see graduating. 
I see finishing a big project. I see making big strides on what you get, care about and the passion that you put into it. I see your energy returning. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that your airy mind is going to be fueled by your heart healing and that fiery, airy elements are going to be moving just within yourself. So pay attention. If your heart is pinging at you, pay attention. R write it down, take a nap. Pay attention, talk to a friend, go for a long walk and get it right. Because we don't want to keep our Aquarians trapped in an old pattern. That is not what you guys are made for. And it is a month about learning new skills and the biggest skill you can learn is opening up your heart. You guys, I really love you and I want the best for you. And I think that's why I'm being so harsh on this video and not feeling as playful as I sometimes am because this is a time for you to really get real. And that is not always easy. But if you can do it, I promise you that the coming year will be one of the most prolific and powerful month years of your life. And you will feel very freed. So keep that in mind. I love you so much. I hope it is a healing month and I just wish the best for all of you. All right, Aquarius, Mwah. I'll talk to you in June.